So I'm doing this video specifically to help anybody out there dealing with um, eBay issues in regards to IRS forms or uh, submitting forms, that kind of stuff, and not having a great time of it. I have recently gone through a crazy stressful, maddening issue with eBay. And I'm still trying to process how this all went down and how it's all possible that I'm still just so confused. Let's go through it. I want to explain what has happened and uh, maybe it'll help somebody. Maybe it won't, but I'm kind of putting it out there just in case it does help somebody. So this all started back in August, um, it was August 8th, and I got a request from eBay to submit some documents because things weren't matching up with the IRS. You know, I've recently, you know, as I went full time, I did become an LLC, and then I actually became an S corporation on uh, the, you know, the recommendation of my accountant to help save some money that way. Uh, so I've done those things, and you know, on the back end of eBay, it did still say that I was an LLC. So I had to change that, but making that change wasn't easy. And I think I just let it go because it wasn't an easy change to make in terms of in your account and in your tax information. Um, and I did find out that in order to make that change from LLC back to S Corp, you have to go in there and make it a you have to take away the LLC altogether and make it back to a uh, sole proprietor and then wait 24 hours and then go back in again and then make it an S corporation, which makes absolutely no sense, eBay. Um, you should be able to just change it from LLC to S corp, no big deal. But if you go in there and you're an LLC right now, you cannot, you, you only have two options, LLC or sole proprietor. So S corp is not there. So you have to go back in and make it an, a sole proprietor, wait 24 hours, refresh it, do your cash or whatever, go back in, and then you should be able to select a S corporation. So you want to probably wait a good 36 or 48 hours to make that full change. So if you're out there and you've had that trouble, there's a little tip for you right there. So on August 8th, I do get the notification that I have to send in a 147C letter verifying that my tax ID number matches up with my business name, which, okay, um, I look through my documents and I don't find that specific document. And I think this is where it becomes a hiccup, right? Because I find this other letter that does verify, it says it, that my S corporation and it has my legal business name and it has my correct tax ID number all on the same letter. But it's not 147C, it's like a 385C or something like that. But I'm like, this has all of the things I need. This is exactly the same kind of thing. It's just not labeled the same number. So I'm like, man, maybe this will work. Because I just want to get my payments back. You know, they're on hold right now. They're, you know, I just got that notification. They're on hold. So I talked to my accountant. He's like, ah, you should send in the 147C. And I'm like, I got this other letter. And I'm like, ah, so whatever. I could call the IRS and get the 147C letter. But then I have to wait for it to be mailed to me. Um, so I just, I, you know what? I just decided to send in the, the letter that I have that has the, the same information. So I'm like, maybe this is going to be enough. Um, so. On the 10th, which is two days after I got the first notification, I send in my letter. And I'm just like crossing my fingers, hope this works. The very next day, I receive, uh, hopefully right here, I'll post it. It's a email from eBay. It's a message. It comes into your messages. And it says that we have been ver your information has been verified. If your payments were on hold, they will now start to resume again. Awesome. So I think I'm in the clear. I'm like, thank goodness, I don't have to worry about this. You know, a few days of my payments being on hold, not a big deal. So I think that was on a Friday or a Thursday or Friday that that email came through. 
So I wait through the weekend, even though I get daily daily payments sent. So on Saturday, it should still say, you know, we sent this payment. Um, I don't see anything on Monday. I wait through the morning and I don't see anything. So I'm like, okay, something else is not going on. I have not received any other messages via eBay. I haven't received any emails via eBay. So I call customer service three days in a row. First day, I don't see anything wrong. Everything looks okay. I don't know why your payments are on hold. I'm going to try to figure it out, and I'm going to give you a call back the next day. I wait through the morning, only a few hours that I'm waiting, and I'm like, okay, I'm tired of waiting. I call again. Same thing. I don't know why. I'm not sure what's going on. I'm going to try to find out, and I'll give you a call. Next day, I wait again through the morning, and I don't get a call back. I call again. Three days in a row, I call customer service. Finally, this person has some new information. This person, three days later, and after almost a week of having my payments on hold at this point, they tell me that I need to submit a W-9. I'm like, okay, but I never received any messages saying I needed to do an updated W-9. I never received an eBay message or an email. How is it that you know now, and the two people before had no idea? I'm sorry, sir. I don't know. I'm just showing. I'm just showing in here that you need to do an updated W9. I'm like, it'd be nice to get this from an eBay message instead of having to call customer support. They're like, oh, I totally get it. I totally understand. Blah 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 blah. Um, so that night, I submit an updated W9. So this is August 16th. Remember, this all started on August 8th. This is now the 16th of August, and I'm submitting a update, an updated W-9 form with correct information. You know, it's got my legal name, tax ID number, same stuff that was on the verification letter I sent at the very beginning. I think uh, I wait five days, so it's like, let me see, August 21st comes around. I haven't received even a reply back, uh, just so you guys know, when now that I'm dealing with these secure forms and W-9s, I can't just submit them through eBay like a document uploader. I have to email it via my personal email. I have to email a very specific, it's like information reporting at ebay.com, something like that, very specific email, my documents. And it has to be this very specific subject title with, you know, secure and your your eBay store name and things like that, your user ID. So I sent it and I don't receive back an email like I did before saying, or no, this time, sorry. Whew. It's hard to get all this stuff to, in, you know, in one story. I do receive a message the next day saying they got my W-9 and that it could take up to 14 business days for them to look at it. And I'm like, holy crap, 14 business days? That is uh, pushing me out of not having payments. You know, this is, I depend on this money. This is how I pay myself. Um, our house, our family depends on this money. Uh, this is, this is not, this is not, I can't go too long without getting paid. Like I, I need that money. Um, so I'm thinking 14 business days. What am I supposed to do? Nothing. I'm just supposed to sit here. Five days goes by without hearing any updates, so I call customer support. Or no, I first I email. I just email that same email address, the secure email address, because I'm like, you know what, I'll just email them. Maybe they'll see it and maybe they'll send me back an update. Of course, I don't hear anything back from that secure email. This is like some secret behind closed doors. We don't talk to anybody group of eBay employees. They, are, they don't. They have very set hours. They don't work weekends. They're, just, you know, and they don't take phone calls. No one can talk to them. Apparently, no customer service person can talk to this to talk to this group. Um, so after I don't receive a reply, like within I think 24 or 48 hours, I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna call. I know it's still within the 14 business day window, but I want to call and get an update. I'm frustrated. My payments are on hold. I want to know what's going on. So I call, one says I can't get any assistance until after those 14 business days occurs. <sighs> so they just expect you to wait. 
they just expect you to just make that wait. So that would put the 14th business day on, <laughs> let's see, we're in August. So it would be September 6th would be the 14th business day. Because obviously they don't count the day you sent it. They don't count weekends. And there was Labor Day in there. So uh, September 7th was the 14th business day. So I could call on September 8th. That was the next day I could call. Um, even though they told me that, I'm still freaking out during all this time. So I still am just calling like every few days to just try to get another update. I just want to talk to somebody that can help. Um, one, and then I just still haven't gotten received any messages or I still haven't received any emails, but on one of those customer service calls, they say, I need to submit the 147C letter. The one that I already, you know, I tried to get approved by sending a 385C letter that says the same things, but I did get a reply saying everything was good. I'll post it again. Here it is again after sending in the other letter. And now this person is saying that I, I do have to submit a specific 147C letter. And I'm like, but I still didn't get any messages or emails telling me I need to do this. So they didn't send me a message for the W9. They didn't send me a message for this new 147C letter. And I'm just talking to customer service. And how would I have found this out if I didn't call trying to get an update? I have no idea. I don't think I would have gotten that information unless I called. So I call the IRS. I have them mail me a 147C letter. And this is, uh, I'm guessing this is at the beginning of September. You know, September 7th hasn't come. I haven't waited that 14 business days, but I'm, you know, calling in the meantime. So I request a 147C letter. And I do receive that 147C letter about four or five days later. And it comes and I send that in to the same secure email address using the same secure title, subject line, and all that stuff. And I say, here is the 147C letter. I hope this is what we need to get things moving. The 14 business days passes for the W9 form that I sent in. Now... I can finally get forwarded to a manager within payments or customer service. Um, so I finally think I'm getting somewhere. It is a Friday that I talk to them. Um, and he says the same kind of things. I'm going to look into this. I'm going to see what's taking so long. I'm going to give you a call back Monday because it was a Friday. Uh, I'm going to see what I can find out and give you a call back. So Monday comes around, and I wait a few hours, and I don't hear back, like in the morning. So I call in again, and this customer service person, who's not a manager, says, I cannot get any information until that day passes, because that the customer service manager that I talked to previously said that he would call me back on Monday. So I theoretically have to let all of Monday pass until 7 p.m. because that's when customer service closes the closes the phone lines. That's that's all I, I have to wait the whole day. The whole day goes. He does not call back on that day, um, which is hilarious because I still haven't gotten called back once from all the customer service people that said they would call back. A little bit on that in a minute, but the next day, which is the Tuesday. I call in the morning. I actually give it like two more hours in the morning. So it's like 9.30 or 10 o'clock in the morning before I call in. Because I'm like, maybe he'll call me Tuesday morning. The guy that I, the manager I talked to on Friday. Maybe he'll call me on Tuesday morning with an update. Those time, That time passes, does not call. So I call in again, talk to another customer service person. That person was like, well, I, are you still waiting on a call? Or, you know, would you rather talk to... He's like, I'm going to try to get a hold of that manager that you talked to before. So he puts me on hold. He's trying to get a hold of him. Comes back a little bit later. Cannot get a hold of him. Now, he asks, would you rather just wait for that manager who may have information or may not have new information, or would you like to talk to a new manager? And obviously, at this point, I'm losing my mind. It is, it is a full month since the beginning 
since this has all started, I guess. This is August 8th, and this is like 9, this is September 11th or 12th at this point, and I'm, I'm getting fed up, I'm getting angry, I'm getting short on the phone, which isn't me. I am not like this, but it is happening, and I'm getting very short on the phone, getting very angry with these with these customer service and managers. So I said, no, I want to talk to somebody now. If you can forward me to a manager, I'd rather talk to a manager today because I still don't know what that other manager is doing. Actually, when I'm talking to this new manager, I do get a phone call from the guy on Friday and he leaves me, he leaves me one voicemail saying, you know, uh, saying he, you know, he called. <laughs> I was like, okay, it happens to be when I'm on the phone with another one. Uh, but this lady was probably the most frustrating point of the whole eBay uh, debacle. Um, she says, there's nothing I can do because you haven't waited the 16 business days from when you sent in the 147C letter. And I'm like, but I've, I never even got notice that I needed to send it again or the w9 for that matter in ebay messages i only knew because i called customer support and she was so unwilling to do anything to help me out she just said i have to wait so the timelines are changing and i have to wait longer given this is already going on the fifth week of waiting with my payments on hold five weeks with ebay holding my payments that whole time and i i'm Pretty sure I cursed on the phone. Definitely I cursed at least once. And I'm begging her to do something. I'm begging her, please go find someone that can help. Go talk to somebody. Go on this back room of employees that does this kind of IRS paperwork. Go find someone to give me an update. I just want to know what is going on. I'm sorry, sir. There's nothing I can do for you. Click. Hangs up on me. That was the last straw for me in terms of trying to keep it quiet. So like within an hour and a half, I blasted on TikTok, I blasted on YouTube, I blasted on Twitter. Not that I think that any of those things would actually do anything. You know, people on Twitter or people on TikTok were, you know, mostly sympathetic. I mean, you can go back and watch. It's not, it doesn't have like a ton of views or, you know, it didn't get a ton of interaction, but, you know, people are like, that's crazy, lawyer up, whatever. And I'm like, I just want somebody to help. I just wanted to try to get somebody from eBay support to see it and be like, okay, maybe there's something we can do to figure this out. Crazy enough, Twitter DMs me and says, hey, we'd like to see if there's something we can help you with. Just send us a private message. And I'm like, you know, it was just a form letter. But I'm like, it's worth anything is worth a shot at this point. So I started messaging them and just trying to outline my issues. I go through the, you know, the verification that says, you know, I am who I am. And I give them permission to look on my back end. Uh, same thing if you do Facebook support or, you know, those kinds of things. So they, you have to verify that you are who you are. So I do that and I'm just waiting. And this person who is that Twitter, eBay support, has this thing figured out within 30 minutes. And says, my payments are resuming. She even sends me a little snapshot of how much it is. And I'm like, yeah, that's the right amount. At that moment, I'm filled with so much relief because now I have my money back. And granted, this is like over $5,000. This is a lot of money. And I'm just trying to process everything so i'm messaging with this twitter support person and i'm just i'm thankful but i'm so angry and i'm just i don't i didn't even know how to feel i'm even I, i'm feeling those feelings right now and i'm like i'm still it's i'm the anger is coming back but it's the frustration it is the not knowing what is going on, not being able to talk to a person in this secret department about getting any kind of information or updates on your issues or your your, your papers or what, what's going on. Um, 
that was the most frustrating part. Not that I had to send in things to verify checks and balances. I get those things. But not being able to get an update. Not being able to have anybody tell you definitively and confidently what the heck is going on. Or, and then at the end, it was the timelines changing. And I'm like, and I'm just waiting. You were five weeks into having my payments on hold, and now I'm still not knowing anything. This Twitter support person has it solved and released in 30 minutes. Now, there could be a couple things going on. It could be somebody that just happened to go in at the right time, and maybe it was already really close. Who knows? Or maybe it just happened to be a real support person that knew the problem, and actually knew somebody that they could talk to and go find help. Um, I have no idea. And I still don't have any idea. Still don't know that this person did apologize for taking so long. They apologized for the customer service issues I was having. Um, but they obviously can't, you know, say much more. They can't say, well, I guess I don't even know. They, they can't badmouth eBay. They can't badmouth other employees. They can't, all they can do is say they're sorry. They can't really explain how they were able to get this thing figured out. They didn't explain really anything. They just apologized and got the, and got it done. I'm relieved. You know, it's a couple weeks later. I'm doing my eBay thing again and I'm listing and selling and it seems fine, but it is definitely left a super bad taste in my mouth for eBay and and I don't like that. I don't like that at all because I've been with eBay since 1999. Um uh, buying mostly buying back then but selling, you know, here and there that whole time. Uh, I love eBay. eBay's awesome. Like it's such a great platform and for this to happen and just in this way and then not to get the assistance and help I feel like a bona fide seller should get a top rated seller. Like that means anything. Um, I, f I feel like it should. Um, I'm disappointed that, it, that I wasn't able to get any real help until the end from a Twitter support person. I, it just, it seems crazy that I talked to count, you know, probably eight to 10 different actual customer service people and none of them could really do anything. Like what is they're just they're just like no you gotta wait you gotta wait I, oh yeah uh, escalate this escalate that just wait just literally I'll call back just nothing nothing it's just so frustrating I don't know what to say I so if you guys if you guys are out there having issues I guess first thing is if it says 147 C letter get the freaking 147 C letter maybe that was a piece of why things took so long. But when I first sent in my letter and got an email the next day saying, hey, everything's good. We verified stuff. And I was like, great. And then it, nothing was. Like nothing was great. Nothing was good. And they needed all this other stuff. So it was like, okay. But they also don't send you those messages and emails telling you they need those things. I had to get it for myself from a customer service person by calling. So it was just, it was just bad all the way around. But yeah, if you're having these troubles, just try to stay calm. Um, I did lose it on a customer support person at the end. But I don't even feel like I'm in the wrong there. Like, I feel like it's all deserved. It's well deserved on the eBay side. It took so long, and it was it was just ridiculous. Um, so I won't apologize for losing my cool. I, I definitely won't. Um, I hope you guys, whatever issues you have, are figuring it out. One thing this has all caused me to think about was like, you know, I do have most of my eggs in the eBay basket. Um, mostly because I like eBay the most. I've tried whatnot and I do some stuff on marketplace. Um, but I don't do like the other places. I don't do Mercari or Poshmark or the, you know, and I know other resellers will do like list perfectly to help diversify where your listings are. And, I'm definitely thinking about that kind of stuff. Also thinking about how I can sell more locally um, and just uh, generate funds that way. And uh, so, yeah, things things are moving around in my head. 
yeah, I just hope you guys are doing okay. And I hope to see you guys out there at yard sales, thrift stores, estate sales, all the fun places. Uh, if you see me out and about, make sure you say hi. Because, uh, yeah, that's what I like the, the networking of resellers. I think that stuff is fun. Um, yeah, we'll see you guys later. And I hope if you have issues, I hope they're fixed soon. All right. Thank you.